Finally tired of doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results? Well, this show is going to help you change your life for the better. Strap on your seatbelt and navigate this roller coaster we call life with human potential expert and best selling author, Dr. Verna Price. Each week, Dr. Verna blesses you with her virtues to live your best life so you can be the best you that you can be. Hi, welcome back to Dr. Vernon's Virtues. So glad you came back. For those of you who are brand new to my podcast, welcome. Please listen in and share with your friends and keep on listening. Um, It is fall and I live in Minnesota. And in Minnesota, it is just beautiful in the fall, right? The leaves change into different colors. And so it's, they begin to fall on the ground. And if you walk through a park, it's beautiful, just beautiful. So today I want to talk about the seasons in our lives. And um, it's a conversation that I think is going to help you wherever you are in your life. It's going to help you kind of get yourself what I would say, back to a place of a solid ground. It's going to help you figure some things out that's going on with your life. And it's going to give you a new expectancy about your next season. So I'm excited to talk to you about that. And but first, let's go ahead and start with our affirmation. You're going to need your power to make this happen. So let's do our um, personal power one. My power is my ability to Think a new positive thought, see a new positive vision, speak new positive words, write new positive goals, and do something new and positive by taking a new positive action step. So make sure that you take your action step and figure out what it is that you want to make happen today. So these are called the seasons in our lives. So in Minnesota, we're now in the fall season. And you know it's fall season because the leaves begin to dry up, they turn colors, and they fall off the trees. So that one tree that used to be look very, very beautiful, full of green leaves, that tree now daily is beginning to look very bare. It's beginning to look thin. It's beginning to look as though it is losing things but it actually is beginning to shed. It's beginning to get pruned. Why? Because it's in the fall season of its life. Now, if you didn't understand seasons, you would come and take a look at that tree that you saw in July. And now you look in that tree in in November and you might say, well, maybe that tree is sick. Maybe something is wrong with that tree. Maybe that tree has some sort of you know, disease, something's happening with that tree. But the truth of the matter is that tree that you saw in July that had full of leaves, right? Just, just plush, beautiful green leaves. And now that same tree, it's, it's, first of all, it doesn't have any leaves. It looks bare, it looks barren, and it looks alone. Why? Because it is in its fall season. Let me tell you, in our lives, we go through seasons in our lives. And one of the things that I want you to know is that as you go through these seasons in your life, know that you're still planted. Nothing happened to the roots of that tree. The roots of that tree remains the same. The roots of that tree, actually, as the tree goes through the winter season, the roots of that tree are actually busy regenerating under the ground as on top of the ground, the tree bears the snow and the ice, and it actually has to just go through that winter season. It's a dark season. It seems to be a harsh season, but under under the ground, that tree is still very solid. That tree is still growing. That tree is still um, is still bearing, and that tree is still fruitful. Why? Because it knows how to deal with its seasons. In your life, you are going to have seasons. And what I want you to do is to think about what season is it in your life? Is it the season of growth, new opportunities? Is it the season of sustaining where you already have great things happening? Now you have to sustain it. Is it the season of letting go 
where you've come to this place where you know that there are some things in your life that you've got to let go. So I want to talk about this season and how to move you through the season of going from lots to little to difficulty. The winter is a tough season to get through. And then into the spring of your life, into the spring uh, uh, season to what? Bring new things forward. So let's talk about what happens in the season, in the fall season. We're going to start here. In the fall season, when your life has been busy, your life has been full, and now things, you realize that you there are things falling off of your life, right? There might be people falling off of your life. People who you thought were with you are not with you. There might be opportunities. Opportunities that you thought were for you are not for you. Mind you, nothing's happened to your foundation. Your foundation is still the same. You're still bold. You're still brilliant. You're still blessed. You're still very competent. You're still skilled. You're still productive. All those things are happening underneath. And sometimes when people, people don't see our underneath, they don't see behind the scenes for us. So what they see is the public and the public is, oh my goodness, she's losing business. Oh my goodness. She's losing opportunities. Oh my goodness. You know, he is, you know, something's going on with his life, right? He's looking bare. Your life is looking a little bare right now, but the truth of the matter is behind the scenes, what you're really doing is getting out of the public, going back underground, right? That private public, that private space of yours, that go back to yourself, go back to your foundation. What do you believe in? What do you value? Understanding who you are, understanding what you're about, revisiting your vision, understanding what you really want, right? Understanding who the people are in your life. You're going to go back, right? And, And in this space, it's you. It's just you. It's you and God doing this work. On the outside, it may look like your life is barren, but the truth is that this is just a season. If you're writing something down and you're going through a tough season right now, it's just a season. It's just a season. And during this season, what I want you to do is to go back and make sure your foundation is strong. Now, when you come out of the fall season, things start falling off of your life. You spend that fall season revisiting who you are and strengthening your core strengthening your soul, strengthening your spirit, strengthening your vision, make sure strengthening your relationships. This is a time when you go and you, you know, have tea with your good friend that you know has been with you for years and believes in you. This is the time when you met someone some time ago, but you, you know, you've been so busy in the summer season because there was all this activity, all this stuff going on, that you didn't really have time to sit with that person and get to know them. And maybe they can be uh, a new adder in your life or a new multiplier in your life. This is a fall season. It's getting darker, right? There's less things in your life and it's now time to revisit your core. And then some of you may be in your winter season where it's just hard. These are hard times for you. You are having winter storms. You are ha- It's cold. It's dark. And you may think, you may even think you are losing your mind. You are not. You are simply in the winter season of your life. During this time, it's the time to get back inside. Go back inside yourself. Figure out who you are, what you want, where you're going. It's the time to be quiet. You're no longer talking. You're no longer telling. You are now what? what, Trying to find your own new peace, your own new level. This is your time of healing. This is your time of forgiving. This is your time to go back and rebuild yourself so you can make sure that when the spring season comes into your life, you are ready for growth. You are ready for growth. And you know what? In the winter season, you don't have to talk to a lot of people, but you do have to know who your core adders are and your core multipliers are. And in the winter season, it's very important to stay away from subtractors and dividers because you are at your most vulnerable place in the winter season when you are attacked by cold and you are uh, you, you are in the dark and things are tough. It's important to stay away from subtractors and dividers because at that time you are your most vulnerable. 
Go back inside of yourself. Strengthen your inward person. Get to know you again. Heal again and come out of winter. And once you come out of winter, spring is coming. And spring is coming where you launch new things. You launch new ways of thinking. You launch new projects. You launch new relationships. You launch new connections. And it's a time for you to start to grow. And in summer, the summer season, and some of you may be in the spring season of your life, you're just launching and growing. And now be careful in the spring season of your life that you don't have so much going on that when you get to summer, where summer is begin to, where you have to harvest, you begin to really see the fruit, that you truly see the fruit in the summertime because you have managed yourself well as you have come out of spring. You come into summer. Summer is harvest. Summer is growth. Summer is opportunity. And summer is prosperity. And some of you are there right now. If you are there in that summer season, be careful. What am I saying to you? That in that summer season that you are wise, wise with your resources, wise with your finances, wise with your relationships, because all of what happens in the summer season, you are going to have to need, you will need to actually help you get through the fall and the winter to get regenerated, to get back to the spring, the seasons of your life. Don't not be, do not be surprised if your season changes. Now, one last caution to you. This is where some people make the mistake. They try to hang on to a season too long. Let me tell you, if your life is telling you it's time for a new season, release your old season. Release it, right? It's time to put away the old season and embrace whatever season you are in whether it's a season of fall where things are leaving your life, whether it's a season of winter where it's a difficult time in your life, or the season of spring of newness, embrace every season and make sure that you make that season work for you. All right? Okay, thank you for joining me for Dr. Vernon's Virtues. I'm so glad you came today. And I look forward to you doing your work on figuring out what season you're in and embracing it and making it work for you. And be sure to join me next time. If you want to learn more about me, go to my website, drvernonprice.com. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And let's finish with our affirmation. We'll do the change one because you may have to change your season. It may be time for a new season for you. All right, this is my life. And I get to change it when I want to, how I want to, if I want to, because it was given to me. And that makes me very valuable, very important, very lovable, and extremely powerful. You have enough power in your life right now to change your life. We'll see you next time. Bye. Get caught up on previous episodes of Dr. Verna's Virtues at ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. If you're like me, family is the most important thing in your life. But talking about finances with your family can be a challenge. This is a photo of me, my mom, my grandmother, and my great-grandmother. Every lesson I learned about putting money away for a rainy day, I learned from them. That's why I'm moderating an AARP panel on Tuesday, November 9th at 6.30 to talk about saving money for retirement no matter what stage you're in. So whether you're Gen Z, a millennial, Gen X, or a boomer, join me on November 9th. We'll have a panel of common folks like you and me. We'll work together so we can find solutions. To sign up for this free event, log on to aarp.org backslash MN events. This event is sponsored by AARP Minnesota, Black Women's Wealth Alliance, Bridge Makers, and Youth Prize.